Lord. Hallelujah. Today is a very special day, a very wonderful day. Today is Father's Day. I salute all fathers and I salute people. You know, fathers are not only people who have given birth, but there are some people who are also father figures who have been mentoring people. We have spiritual fathers, we've got shepherds, we've got people of God who are training people, they are also fathers. So I salute each and every one. And today's, today's meeting and today's program is actually dedicated to all fathers. God richly bless you for tuning in to Dominion Outreach TV. It's your brother, Magdodo, President of Voice of Dominion Outreach. Thank you so much. It is time for Dominion Encounter. And I thank you for coming here and thank you for subscribing. I want you to share it with your friends, share it with your colleagues at work that every weekend we will always gather here and pray together. And we will gather here and intercede for each other. We will gather here and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God. Yes, prayer requests have been coming in. I've been receiving prayer requests and prayer points. And today we are here to pray together with our brethren who have sent in their prayer requests. So if you are here, it's never a mistake being here. In the name of Jesus. Valadi klo bado zeve kati vrede vezo vrahisto ski bradi miku mahatu mili bradi miku vahalato shakli aste. Today, the first prayer request was about someone who wanted the seed of the womb. He wanted the fruit of the womb. So, if you are also here with me and you also want the fruit of the womb, today we are here for you and we are here to pray together for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. And it reminded me of the time of Abraham and Sarah. The Bible says that Abraham and Sarah, they looked for kids, they looked for a child for a very long time, and they were not having them. But the Bible says that when they had a visitation from the Lord, they were able to give birth to an Isaac. So if you are here and you need a child, if you are here and you need a fruit of the womb, I challenge you and I admonish you and I encourage you that today is your day in the name of Jesus. So we are praying today for people who need child, children, for people who need the seed of the womb in the name of Jesus. I want us to look, look at something from Genesis chapter 18, the story of Abraham and Sarah. The Bible says that, like I said, they needed a child and they've been toiling. They've been doing whatever they need. As a matter of fact, God has promised Abraham that Abraham will be the father of many nations and he has been expecting that and it has not be coming in because he knew that he had no child or he had no son. So how is that going to come through? But when the time was right, the Bible says that there was a child. Isaac came to bear and today we say that Abraham is the father of many nations. We also say that Abraham is the father of faith. Yes, it may toil. Yes, it may take long. Yes, at times it may seem as if the answer is not coming. It may look as if the child is not coming. But I put it to you and I tell you that God never make a mistake. And God's time is always the best. It doesn't matter whether you have passed the childbearing age, you are going to deliver in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18 and I want us to start from the verse 10. Because from the verse 1 is when Abraham met three visitors. When you read from the verse 1, the Bible said that the Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. He was sitting, but when he saw those three visitors, he never hesitated to help them. He took them in, he fed them. He gave them something to do. It was an act of kindness. So I want to tell you that if you need a child, I want you to exercise kindness to each and every one that you meet. 
It doesn't matter whether the person is a stranger. It doesn't matter whether the person is a foreigner. It doesn't matter whether the person is not in your league. When I say it is not in your league, some people think that where they have reached, no one has gotten there. There are some people that think that they have everything and you, because you are in tattered clothes, you, 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 you are nobody. But I want to tell you that whoever you meet, show kindness to the person. Because showing kindness will open the door for your childbearing. If it is a seed, you can sow a seed in your pastor's life. You can sow a seed wherever church you are going, or whoever that you may meet, or whoever is your mentor, sow a seed in the life of the person. Whatever church, in your church, sow a seed. And I tell you, your seed sowing will bring forth a childbearing. In the name of Jesus. So Abraham did that. He sowed sow a seed in the life of the three visitors whom he never knew. It may be people you may not know, but help them. So let's read Genesis chapter 18, verse 10 to 13. I read. And I'm reading from the New International Version, NIV. Then the Lord said, I will surely return to you about this time next year. And Sarah, your wife, will have a son. About this time next year, you're going to conceive. About this time next year, you're going to have a child. So this prayer point, this person asking for a child, and if you're also there who needs a child, I prophesy unto your life that about this time next year, you shall conceive and you shall give birth to a child. And you will have a child, you will call him or her your own. I said, this is my son. This is my daughter. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And if you are a man, hoping that your wife will deliver or hoping that your wife will have a child, about this time next year, you will also be called a father and we will be, we will be, we will be, we will be calling you or we will be also wishing you Father's Day in the name of the Lord Jesus. So the Lord said, I will surely return to you about this time next year and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance to the tent which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already old and well advanced in years. They were already old and well advanced in years. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter whether you have passed menopause. But if God wants to give you a child, he shall give you a child. God does not work in the timing of man. The philosophy of man does not work here. Because God is omniscient. And God is omnipotent, all powerful God. And He's omnipresent. He is everywhere. And if He says yes, no one can say no. So today we are praying for this, our brother, our sister, who, has, who, is, pray, who, is, who is looking for a child. If you are also looking for a child, I want you to put your hand on your belly and let us pray together. And I want to tell you that about this time next year, you shall have a son. About this time next year, you shall have a daughter in the name of the Lord Jesus. Abraham's, Abraham and Sarah were already old and advanced in years. And Sarah was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought. Maybe you think it is not possible, but nothing is impossible before God. Maybe you may have been prophesied to that you are going to deliver or you are going to have a child, but you think that you have passed the childbearing age, but I tell you that there is nothing that is too hard for the Lord. It doesn't matter whether you have passed menopause. It doesn't matter whether you are in your old age. It doesn't matter whatever situation you find yourself. When God says yes, no one can say no. It doesn't matter whether you are barren, God shall give you a child in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Baladugi mo atuli braki ush lizu vi atili bili brahaki asta bile deko jahasta in the name of Jesus. Verse twelve. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought. 
After I am worn out and my master is old, will I now have this pleasure? Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child? Now that I am old, is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. I will return to you next year. Next year, you, 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 you testify to the goodness of God that he has given you a son, that he has given you a child. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Whoever needs a child, like I said, put your hand in your belly and let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Father, we commit, oh God, this sister into your hands. We commit this sister into your hands who needs a child, who needs a son, a daughter. And oh God, oh God, oh God, may you bless the seed of his womb. May you bless the seed of her womb. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Labrato, Jabala, the Osha, Lema, to bradi biku balade lezu vili bradi biku balada sto liza bradi bele kebreate retele bretele bele tebo li vili bradi biku bahato li ko shahato ratu mahato li bratu shabaladi li brahas ko bali reso braha ko se razu brati brau ki mahati Libra de lebe, libo la balada, libra di baco, vi libra di he, lintum bring in de zimbri ante, linde libi libri ante libini brandi, lubra hakum villa subraki, li balado bili balada, receive your son, receive your daughter, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, there is a seed who oh, that is coming into your womb right now, in the name of Jesus, receive it now, in the name of Jesus. There's nothing that is too hard for the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, with God, all things are possible. So right now you are receiving that baby in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are receiving that baby in the name of Jesus. Labalo balada, rabalo brato, rebelebeko balada. You shall testify that by this time next year you shall have a child in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Sarah, 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 Sarah was in her old age. She had passed her childbearing age, but God gave her a son. Oh, now you shall also receive a son in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rabala bo shebelede, ratu bradi biku balada, rebele preto balasi, rizu vi maati, ruki u mahali briaki. Elia, re me atu brakush bili astu hreste. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, your prayer is answered. About this time next year, you shall have a child. In the name of Jesus, you shall also testify to the Lord. Yeah, it is about time you testified. It is about time you also had a testimony. In the name of Jesus, le baladu braku balodos, le bakibo le bradebeko baladasi, bretelebeko bratu zibili brahakasti, le mahanti ni mini bradebeko ba, reto brakos breto balasi kiste. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are praying. I want us to look at something from. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse verse three and four. Verse three to five. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three to five. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. We don't war with the things of the world. The Bible says that for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world people does. The worldly people, when it comes to war, they, they want to use swords, they want to use guns. But as a spirit being, we are not of this world. Even as we, though we live in this world, we are not of this world. And we don't war as the world people war. But we will war on our knees. We go on our knees in prayers. And the Bible says that for our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Their weapons are not carnal. 
Our weapon is the word of God. Our weapon is God himself. He fights our battle for us. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, he said, hold your peace, the Lord will fight for you. So it is the Lord who will fight your battle for you. Because if you know how to fight your, fight your battle, the Lord is not going to fight your battle for you. But leave your battle in the hands of God. But the Bible says that our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are not on this world. But they are mighty through God. Our weapon becomes mighty when it is through God. When, you're, when you submit everything to the Lord, when you submit your troubles to the Lord, when you submit all that you are doing unto the Lord and you say, oh God, take charge. Let my weapon, oh God, be through you. The Bible says that when it is through God, it's able to pull down strongholds in the name of Jesus. So we are praying every stronghold in our family, every stronghold that is that is de depriving me of my progress. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. Let us pray every stronghold, every stronghold in the family, every negativity in the family, oh, every curse in the family that is preventing me from progressing. This day we are breaking those strongholds. We are pulling them down in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray with me. Le baladi kumia, le tu braki stoho, le zuva libi libra diki, le zumbra tuj kalu brahakia, le zobalados rasu zibili kadi, retele mekembra dibili brada, ravala tu brakos breheste. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every stronghold, every curse in my family, I break it today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the name that is above every other name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, rato kito rim. Mali do bilu bradi kum mahato, ribili brakido mahaladia, re tebekos brahastostos. Every stronghold in the family. You know, in the olden times or in the olden days, when when our 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 forefathers and our great 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 grandfathers, some of them went to shrines and put the destiny of the bloodline under that occult, under that shrine. They mention the name of the bloodline. Me, I am a dodo. They mention, oh yes, the dodos. For us, we only want, we want money. So the, your destiny is changed. And yes, there will be money in the, in the family, but there may not be kids, or there may not be children in the family. In the other way around, others go and exchange their destiny and say, yes, I want, I want kids. So you see the particular house, there are a lot of kids or there are a lot of children in the house where there's no money. But today we are praying at every stronghold that anywhere that our, our, our ancestors, everywhere that our forefathers, our great grand great 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 fathers went to and put the family under that particular thing, under that particular God, we are breaking that covenant in the name of the Lord, that stronghold. We are breaking that covenant that was hard with the devil, that today we are breaking that covenant. We are not under that covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to pray, open your mouth and pray that every covenant that our great grandfathers went to, that Oh, in this family, you will see that yeah, they can get married, but when they get married, there's a divorce. This marriage, this house, you will see that this house, there's a lot of money, but there are no kids. You see that this house, there's a lot of kids, but there's no money. We are breaking every covenant that our fathers or our forefathers made with the devil. In the name of the Lord, let us pray. La balado brakoshe, le baladi bili brako melede subaha, rabatu brakebo shabalada, le belebre antene meka balada, rabali valu braku vi, le matu brakish, lu zili bili bra, reki shahate, reko mahatu bahaku vili braha. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every covenant that my forefathers, my great great grandfathers, made with the devil and put the name or the bloodline of my family onto that particular shrine. This day, I break that covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. It doesn't have power over us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh, we have covenant with Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I'm praying that covenant is broken. Any altar in the family, any altar that has been set in the family, sacrificing people's life, today I am not part of that sacrifice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that altar is broken. Now let us break that altar. Any altar in the family that people are being sacrificed, that 
that that that family members are being sacrificed. We are breaking those altars right now. Le balada bakoche, le brate beko brado, le malada kazu brakiste, le mata liku milato, remeko bele de zebre kiste, le baladiku mahato, rimini bri ante ne mi kaladuche. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God richly bless you for tuning in. Next week we're gonna be back again. Like, share it with your friends. Subscribe. Press the bell button for future notification. I love you, and I know you love me too. You can also go to our page on Facebook, Voice of Dominion, from Monday to Fridays. Every weekday, we send or we post devotional messages there. I want you to like it so that whenever we post devotional devotional messages, you can also get it. I love you. Happy Father's Day to all fathers. God richly bless you. Thank you so much. We will come back again next week. Keep on putting or keep on leaving your prayer request on the comment section and we will always pray with you, me and my team. We will always pray for you, pray with you. Thank you. Don't forget, your act of kindness can bring you a child. Don't forget that our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I love you. Bye-bye.